this one we are going to do a full fish room tour but we're also going to nip over to Ermston Aquatics in between because I'm having one of those days today where I'm doing loads of jobs in the fish room and moving some stuff about and you know uh, I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute but we are going to nip over to Wormston just to have a little nosy to see what they are, what they have in because I am over there doing a bit of shopping with Joe. So what I'll do is I will film around this fish room, then we'll nip off and I'll just show you some of the highlights in Wormston Aquatics. So let's get right into it. These two tanks you've not seen for a while. These are the two tanks I had army problems with, but everything's fine now. That top tank is now a Central American cichlid tank, and the bottom tank is a South American cichlid tank. But I'll show you what's in them when we get back from Ermson Aquatics. So I'm just doing a couple of jobs. I have added this internal filter into Trigger's tank. It's one of these, I'll show you. Let me just get the actual box to show you what it is. It's this, so it's a... Uh, Orpon solution, this is the 2500. I use these all the time. Now, I usually get the 1200, so I just thought I'd get the upgrade, and it's for Trigger's tank. Reason being is because he's always pulling the sponges out, and sometimes I've come home from work and there's no oxygen in the tank. So I thought if I get this in the background, we're always going to have that flow, and it's quite powerful to be honest with you. So, yeah, that's why I did that. He's doing great as usual and he does move these about still and in a day or two I'll come in and they won't even be attached so I've got to forever keep putting them on because he's just a grumpy aggressive sod that's why so yeah no change with Trigger obviously we did a feeding video with him the other week also what I've done is I have moved these Koi Angels into this tank this was the tank that the convicts were in I've moved them into another tank I said I was going to put them into my community and we're going to try and well we are going to breed these so they bred in the tank with the Juraparae but the, the eggs didn't last overnight they are proven breeders so it's just a matter of time there is a couple of albino hoplos in here that you've not seen before and there's actually a couple of rogue convicts there's one there so I need to get them out so I've changed it all about put these in here and then noticed a couple of rogue fry, so I'm gonna to have to get them out. So we'll do that in the next couple of days. But these are stunning, you didn't see these, you only saw these in the bag in the auction video, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, they're absolutely stunning. I have stuck a giant valise in there with some root tabs, it wasn't working out with a Juraparai, they kept ripping it up. But yeah, that's what's happening there, so hopefully I'll be able to bring you a video soon on them breeding. We've also got these two tanks here. Again, that is a South American and that is a Central American. So in here, we've got this pair of Satan Aperca Juraparae. Stunning, male and female, no breeding action. They've never bred, so we'll wait and see, see what happens. Nice pleco that I got from Lee Valley Aquatics about a year and a half ago. More on that in another video. This plant here, I was advised by Keith at Aquatics Fanatics UK to try, he said it's an easier plant to grow. We've got this Anubius on lava rock and we've got some moss and there is some calico bristle nose plecos in there but they are stunning aren't they? Well we did a video on them and then down below we've got the Salvina. The head of the male on the right is popping out, the head of the female on the left is popping out. These two paired off and that male levered my other male, which I had to take out. Luckily we saved him. So yeah, that's the Salvini pair. They were going through a few motions the other day, but still a bit nervous, so we'll see how they get on. What else have we got before we head over to Ermston? So I will show you the Central American and South American tank when we get back from Ermston, but before we go to Ermston, we'll look at the South American cichlid tank with the Pandawaru and Braziliensis in. I love this tank, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit overstocked and we have shoved another sponge in there to counteract that. And as you can see in this video, it's actually had a water change for about a week and a half and it's as clear as day, so love it. The Pandawaru are doing absolutely brilliant. They tend to sit back a bit, but they are aggressive. And I love the fact that they're aggressive because it means they're comfortable, it means they're fine. So they're doing well. The tank thinks I'm going to feed them, so let's throw some food in. I'm going to throw some vegetable flakes in. 
And there they go. They love that. It's a little bit fine powder. It's not the greatest size in flea, but they eat it. They love it. So obviously I think next time I buy some veggie flake, I won't be buying that because it's quite thin. I'll show you what it is. It's one that I get from Maidenhead. It's this stuff and it's called Aqua, Aqua Care Vegetable Flake. It's a bit fine for me. And um, they eat, like I say, they eat it, and obviously when it settles on the bottom, the geos and stuff, geo type fish will fish will will sift it anyway. But yeah, I, I am using it up, but I'm not going to buy it again. To be honest, as you see in the video, it's quite fine. Uh, they're eating it though, and there's one of the woodcats that you never see. We've got three woodcats in there that never come out. Well, I've just gone under that wood there. It's come out there on the right. Look, getting a cameo appearance from one of them. Bad two of them woodcats for a very long time but anyway guys what we're going to do now is we're going to head off over to Emerson Aquatic because we are going to go and do some shopping and then when I come back I'll show you the the two tanks that you've not seen for a while and hopefully we might come back with something who knows so I've just got to Emerson Aquatics and I'm going to get in there see what they've got and do some filming I'll film some of the good stuff but this is a great shot it is in Emerson near the Trafford Centre it's literally five minutes away but let's get inside Some nice sevs in, also some nice Oscars. That's a little jag. Geo. No sevs are nice. That's a big wood cat, that's a beauty that. Some nice barbs in here, love these barbs. There's those little snakeheads as well, and another big sev. These are those nice Stendica discus couple of nice angels in there, some lovely bronze Corridoris catfish. These young Bulgarian sea point angels are lovely, I do like these, I'm a big fan of these. There was a pair in here, a massive pair in here the other week and I wish I'd have snatched them up. Lovely angel fish, I know I like my wild ones really but these are unusual, I like them. Very nice fish and if you want a pair of these they're £35 a pair. This is the second biggest tank, there's a true parrot in there, if anybody wants one. Some nice silver dollars, some young bass, they're lovely, and there's a big gold spot pleco there as well. That true parrot's nice, but I don't have room for it. Check out the size of those big weather loaks. They are the biggest that I've ever seen, ever. They're massive. Look at them. Big chocolate cichlid, some dollars, some shark cats up there as well, they're nice, loving that chocolate cichlid. Lots and lots of tanks in here guys, you're going to get something of everything in here. Those angels are nice, they're lovely. Oh they're the ones I featured in my last video, they are stunning them. Archer fish, they're nice as well. Lovely them. Rainbow, look at the colour of that. Lovely. Lots and lots of choice. Those little frontosa there, they're stunning them. Black Widows. Kev, if you're watching, check these out. These electric Blue Jack Dempseys are absolutely stunning. Which 
This gold severin's lovely as well, aren't these nice? The colours on the fish in here today are absolutely outstanding. Look at that. Some young aquadens, these are, are royal acaras, these are nice. Do like these, I've got a big one obviously. This is what they like when they're small. This tiny arrow here, that is the smallest arowana that I've ever seen. Bearing in mind these grow to well over two foot. The size of that crib, that's massive. Beauty that, I'm sure there must be a female in there somewhere. Can't see it to be fair. No, can't see it. It's probably hiding somewhere. There must be a female in there. If not, that's a beautiful male. We are back from Herbs and Aquatics and I didn't bring anything back, I'm afraid, because there just wasn't anything on the day that I was gonna have was gonna bring home, but I did look and consider the BSP Angels, I do like them, I did have a think about it, but for now, I'm not going to get them. I would like to see some BSP Angels in my fish room at some point. I mean, I know I like the wild type ones, as I said, in the, at the shop tour, but, you know, there's a couple of different types that I like, as you know, I've got the Koi Angels, and I do like the BSP. Anyway, let me show you the Central American Cichlid Tank and the South American Cichlid Tank. These two tanks you haven't seen for a while. The last time you saw these two tanks were I had a wipeout in that top one and I'd lost little Morris in the bottom one. And then I had to basically decide in a long, like in a long run, what I was going to do with him. So I basically made the top one a Central American cichlid tank. And I'll show you what I did in the bottom one in a minute, but let's show you the top one first. So this is the Central American tank that the only fish left is this Spillerys. This is the only fish that survived the wipeout in this tank. Some new fish in here, there's a Pike Cichlid and they've all, there's also this, they were sold to me as a pair of Nicaraguan Cichlids. They do look like two females, if I'm being honest with you. So I was told that they'd bred, I was told that there was a pair, so we'll see what happens. That lion side, female lion size being a git. But if you look, that one does look like a male with its head but the pattern of females they keep the line usually so i have been told though that some males keep the line so we'll see we'll see but they're beautiful anyway they were what i've got from mal at the new aqua store my pair of convicts are now in here there's the sin spillum stroke melanaru and there's the male salvini that i moved out the other tank he got an absolute kick in Ended up with loads of fur on him, but we've sorted him out, he's back to normal. And yeah, that's the Central American Cichlid tank. Where I'm at with Central American Cichlids at the moment, to be honest with you, is I'm getting fed up of them. I'm fe getting fed up of the aggression. I'm getting fed up of the fighting, all that kind of stuff. Especially like my Paracromus multifasciatus, the male's levered the female pretty badly, so I've had to put her in an hospital tank, and you can see this female lounge size throwing away about. That is a South American cichlid, shouldn't be in here, I don't usually mix them, but at this moment in time, it's staying in here. One more look at those Nicaraguan cichlids, and we'll go down and check out the bottom tank. Let's throw some food out in to entice them. And here they come, so all those little Waru's absolutely love it. And as you can see, there's a big Waru in there too. That's the one that was at something fishy. I had to come home with that. I, there was no way we, I weren't coming home with it. It's very rare you see Waru's at that size around these parts at the moment. But I've got 10 younger ones and they were in the front room tank. They have doubled in size, if not tripled in size since I got them. And I've got 10. So I had 12 and I gave a friend of mine two. He asked me for two. There is one of the true parrots. You've not actually seen that one. I did post a video, uh, sorry, a picture on my community the other day. But look at them, aren't they stunning? We can just grow them out here. There's the other true parrot. So the great thing for this is now for me is I can just grow these out in this tank and hopefully I either get a pair out of them or get a female to pair up with this male because I am led to believe that this is a male. And yeah, stunning tank, 
obviously we lost little Morris from this tank, but you know the good the good side of it. I mean, it wasn't good losing him, but the good side of the hobby is it gave me room to grow these out because they wouldn't have lasted much longer in that four foot tank. I would have had to have put them into the auction. So yeah, that's what we did with this tank. And for those of you that have followed me for a long time, you'll know that the war the waru is my I call it my spirit fish if I'm honest with you because it's the fish that I think it's the first fish that I bred I'm not sure but it was one of them and it's the fish I've probably had the most of over my fish keeping life and yet yeah, that is what we did so that's the fish room tour so let's wrap this one up bit of a longer video from me this week it's something I tried to do a little bit differently I wanted to incorporate a full fish room tour with obviously a trip to the local fish shop bit of a shame we didn't buy anything you know it would have been nice to bring something home but you know what better luck next time mate and I just want to say a massive thank you as always for your guys support it does mean a lot and I'll see you all on the next one